Well, it's not unusual for temperatures to soar into the high 90s here on Delmarva during the summer, even into the triple digits. Yeah, and every summer you hear us remind you, play it safe when the temperature soars. The heat can not only be dangerous, it can be deadly. And you probably recently heard Murphy Martinez on State of Delmarva talk about this next story. A father charged with the death of his two-year-old boy. Police say he left the child in a hot car for eight hours. According to police in Georgia, Justin Harris was supposed to drop his child off at daycare, but forgot. Police say he went to work, leaving the baby in the back of the car. Police say it wasn't until the father was on his way home from work that he looked in the back seat and saw the child still strapped into the car seat. Witnesses say the father tried to resuscitate the boy, but it was too late. He was upset. Um, I, I can't imagine what was going through his mind. Witnesses say the father was constantly saying, what have I done? What have I done? Police say he had to be restrained at the scene because he was so distraught. They have charged him with murder as well as cruelty to children. Mm, it is a heart-wrenching story. And unfortunately, that's not an isolated incident. It's happened even here on Delmarva. And according to kidsandcars.org, an average of 38 kids die each year from being trapped inside a hot car. But there's a new app that's working to bring those numbers down. Emergency crews rushed to the scene on I've read a lot in the news. Locked inside a minivan. Outside. Such a heartbreaking story here today. And, and heard all the stories about other parents that uh, this happened to. I found my son in the car. Um, and my son was clearly, he was lifeless. It's an experience that struck this father of three. Because I could be driving to work, think of all the things that I had to do for that day. I'm out of my routine. I'm not above this. So Cody King wanted to develop something that could help parents just like him doing their best to juggle it all. It looks just like this. He came up with an app called Remember the Kids. You never press the start button. You never changed your behavior in any way. You already have your phone in your pocket. You Use your phone's GPS to monitor the car's movement and speed. We just have to start driving and then it'll turn to driving mode. One minute after the car stops, we just switched to not driving mode. Two more minutes later, an alert pops up with a unique sound asking, did you remember the kids? This just kind of hit me. It's one of those things where you, you know, hit your head on something like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I never thought of it. Yeah! So by the time we get out of the car and stuff, something beeps or some say something that don't forget the kids in the back of the car. That's a wonderful thing being that all of the kids that have died from parents leaving them in the car. Experts say heat stroke can happen in temperatures as low as 57 degrees. So especially in the summer, it can take just minutes before the temperatures are at dangerous levels. My twins, Charlie and Hayden, they're uh, almost two and a half. And then my daughter, Everly, who is almost four and a half. Cody King hopes the app is just one more line of defense. What do I like about being a dad? One more tool. Uh, it's like having your heart outside of your chest. Everyone will for the second time and to help prevent an unimaginable loss. And you've got the app right so, there. Yeah, you? I was looking at my app store. It's a it's a buck ninety nine, mm -hmm. and I have a tendency. I always go to reviews to see yeah. what people think of them. Um, one lady said a small price to pay for what could be a priceless reminder. Another one says fantastic app, a must have for busy parents. Or a babysitter so be sure to check yeah. that out and if you want to download the app we have a link on our website just go to wboc.com and click on our picture at the top of the page now it is obviously tragic when that happens almost as tragic as when something like that happens to one of our pets but with pets it's usually not a matter of forgetfulness but intentionally leaving an animal in a car why do we do that well, maybe there's a little bit of confusion when it comes to warm-blooded animals and cold-blooded animals. According to Kim Matters, cold-blooded animals, which are most of the animal kingdom except for birds and mammals, don't have to keep a consistent body temperature. If it gets hot, their body temperature eventually warms up to it. If it gets cold, their body temperature eventually cools down to it. Most cold-blooded organisms have either an elongated or a flat shape, like a fish or a snake. Now, warm-blooded animals, including you, me, and our pets, are different. We need to maintain a relatively constant body temperature or suffer dire consequences. Most mammals range from 97 to 103 degrees, and within a given species, animals tend to be larger in colder climates and smaller in warmer climates. In other words, uh, white-tailed deer in northern states mm -hmm. generally are bigger than the white-tailed deer 
that are in the southern states. Okay. Okay. So knowing that, and as much as we love our pets, you would think that we would realize we can't leave them in the mm -hmm. car. Police are investigating a case which could result in animal cruelty charges because several dogs were left in a parked car and died as the temperature starts to heat up. It is important for you and me to remember parked cars can be a death trap for dogs. The lady was upset. Kaylee Smith says she was walking through the parking lot outside a store when she saw a commotion at this car. From what I saw, um, people came and she was telling her dogs were dead and people started pulling out dogs and three, I know three for sure were dead. And then when you walk inside, there's another dog and the dog is just barely breathing. They were so overheated. It wasn't moving at all, just laying there. Beautiful dog. And we're just hoping that the dog make it. Witnesses say the owner claims to have left the car running with the air conditioning on, but while she was inside, she says the dogs switched the heat on. You know, I hated it because this happens more than what people think. You know, people leave their dogs in the car. They say, oh, I leave the air on. But just because you leave the air on, this is a good example. You might leave the air on but those dogs. They could turn the air conditioning off. They could reach up there and, you know, somehow flip the switch to the heater off, whatever. You know, it's just it's awful. Smith hopes their deaths serve as a warning to other dog owners. Don't leave your animals in the car. You know, you wouldn't leave your three or four year old in the car. You can't leave a dog, especially puppies in the car. They can't they can't fend for themselves, especially when you don't even leave a window down for them. An important lesson to learn before it's too late. Now, while Delaware, Maryland and Virginia differ slightly in definition and penalties for cruelty to animals, in Delaware, a person is guilty of cruelty to animals when the person cruelly or unnecessarily kills or injures any animal in their control whether belonging to the actor, that means the person who is responsible for them, or somebody else. In Maryland, a person is prohibited from unnecessarily failing to provide the animal with proper drink, air, space, shelter, or protection from the weather. And in Virginia, any law enforcement officer or animal control officer can lawfully seize and impound any animal in such a condition as to constitute a direct and immediate threat to its life, safety, or health. I think that the common sense would just say, if you can't sit in that car, don't expect your animals, don't expect your animals as well. Uh -huh. Well, the heat isn't the only danger during the summer months on Delmarva. We have some pretty nasty storms too. Hopefully this year will be relatively quiet as far as storms are concerned, but it's better to prepare yourself not only for the storm, but for after the storm. Coming up on Delmarva Life, what to look out for to avoid shady scammers. And a little later on, we are using flavors from the Caribbean to dress up a shrimp dish as we head into the Delmarva Live kitchen. Delmarva Live, we'll be right back. <laughs> 